Black Alpha. Yes, sir. Have you a little bit more time? If when it comes to running coons off the block, sambos, tap dancing, buckwheats, and tobies, I'll make the time, brother. All right. Chat, do y'all have a little bit of time? Put a one in the chat. I got something special for y'all tonight. I did something special for y'all tonight. Let me get a one in the chat. I got something special for y'all tonight. Shout out to the whole chat. Yes, sir. Shout out to the chat. Thank y'all. Y'all make y'all make me want to do this. Even though they took down my video, I'm still pushing forward. Okay, we got some people in the building that want to see this. Folk, for those who know, I am not only this podcaster but I, and YouTuber, but I'm also a chef by trade, and I'm also a screenwriter. And being that I'm a screenwriter, you have to be creative to be in that space. So me being creative in that space, I said, folk, let me do something nice for the B1 family. Now, this was supposed to be a separate live video, but something came up today and I had to do that. But I said, since I had Brother Alpha coming on, I'm finna show y'all what this is. We'll just combine it. Folk, there was a reason why I bought this wig and this gavel. There was gonna be a whole presentation. Guess what I did, Black Alpha? What it is. I had a show today. Well, let, let, let me show y'all. I got, I got to take y'all down the entire hole. Y'all are going to see my uh, studio real fast, my YouTube studio. Now, for all my B1s and content creators, you know what I'm fixing about to show you. So make sure you tell your friends to subscribe to Kid Gravity. Why the hell are you not loading? Why are you not loading? What is this? Since when you don't load? Okay, there we go. Yes, folks, you are seeing my YouTube studio. Yes, this is where they rejected my video because I saw somebody driving up, but whatever. Folks, I was planning on doing this show. It was called The Positives of Divesting, B1 Love and Divesting. I was planning on doing this show. I was going to piss the divesters off. I was going to do some trolling. It was going to be enjoyable. But I said, you know what? Instead of me doing a whole other show and setting up for that, let me bring it to the people. Why did Black Alpha just get out? But, you know, that's his computer. So, folks, I am going to give you all the presentation that I was going to show you in a separate video right now. Black Alpha is back. I'm going to show you all this presentation. So first, what we're going to do is get rid of the chat for a little while. The chat overlay. Black Alpha, is you ready? Hey, I'm here, baby. Let's get it. All right. Here we go. Here we go, family. The positives of divesting. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. Make sure before we start, share this out on y'all's Twitter. I need everybody to see this. And send it to your favorite divester. Because I need them to see this. I might even cut this up when it's done and put it out as a separate video. This is called The Positives of Divesting by Kid Gravity. Are y'all ready? Y'all ready? Let's begin. So, of course, we have to do, because we have new people around. They might not know what divest means. So, we had to look up the definitions. So, we looked up the definition of divest, ladies and gentlemen. It says, to deprive or dispossess, especially of property, authority, or title, to undress or strip, especially of clothing, ornament, or equipment, rid free, to take away from a person. Here's our favorite definition, folks. A black gendered fascist. 
a white supremacist, usually female, that believes in racism as long as it only affects black men and those who don't completely hate them. Have we all got that? Black Alpha, have you gotten that? Locked in. All right, let's continue, folks. DSA, you had the perfect reaction of what was going to happen when y'all saw this video live. If I did it live. That was going to be the reaction I was going for. I needed y'all to get in that room. I need y'all to get in that mode. Let's continue, folks. Third slide. Now on this slide, folks, we have our notable preachers of divestment. Yes, we do. Damn. We have the legends. This is just some. This is not all. This is some, not all. So we have... The legendary synthetic G. We have Crystalline. I got destroyed by Jason Black Karazin. But now I'm leaving the community. Pink pill. We've got Chrissy who let uh, a homeless white man come into her home and beat on her child. The fuck? Which, oh, yes. Oh, yes. And then had a lawyer friend of hers come online and tell her to stop talking because, quote, those dusties are going to use this against you. See, the black manosphere is good for some things, folks. Without that, I never would have known she said that. But we're going to keep it going. The girl who swirls, who swears up and down that black men are the worst things since sliced bread. Enough about her. Paris Milan, y'all know on this channel I destroyed her. She's a bum. Yes, sir. Kendall St. Charles, folks. Now... I want all the black men in this room and the black women that are on code to listen to what I'm about to tell you. This set Kendra St. Charles, Kendall St. Charles, AKA Brooklyn blue. Would y'all like to know what she said folks on a live stream that the whole internet on YouTube heard? Let the world hear it again. Now she took it down, but she said, quote, black women, if you are pregnant and you find out you're having a uh, black son abort that motherfucker shameful very shameful she said this but let's continue jody turner smith oh she's she she's she's the new famous divester we all know why she's on that list but we're not finna go there not tonight we could we could we could do that but torian destroyed her black alpha got her i didn't even bother because as a jamaican i would have went off on her and last but not least, the OG Kendra Moore. But then I also said there's more, but I got sick. I got sick thinking about these, and I was going to ask y'all to figure out some words for that, but we're not even going to do that. Which one is mahogany pink? Oh, you mean Crystalline? Yeah, Crystalline. Yeah, she's, a, she's quite the legend. But go look up Jason Black's beautiful, beautiful dissection of that woman. It, it's classic. But let's keep going, folks. I have figured out positives for B1 Society when it comes to divesting. Now, I know when I would, the way I would have set it up, it would have, people would have been like, how the hell is there positives to B1 Society in divesting? They probably would have started unfollowing me. But as you can see on the screen, folks, I'm going to hide myself in Black Alpha so you can get the full flavor. So I said, number one, the divestment community exposed hidden colorist vibes within the black community. Yes, they did, folks. Yes, they did. Divesters of my shade and darker hate the light skin divesters. Yes, they do. Black Alpha, what say you? Oh, that's a fact, brother. I, can I, I'm going to wait till you finish it and I'm going to add one because I'm going over what you're saying. Everything is perfect. It's good. I'm going to add an eighth one. But go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Heard. Please get your work in. All right. Number two, divestors have dated some of the worst men society has to offer. Matthew LaFontaine killed his black woman. Colin Scott Knapp, look that story up. It'll make you sick. Connor Regan, look that story up. That'll make you sick. Michael Lee Wil Wilkerson, look that story up. It'll make you sick. And the biggest L that the divestment community ever took, Mr. Chad Wheeler. Checkmate. <clears throat> Chad Wheeler, folks, 
black men that hate divesting thank Chad Wheeler because mm -hmm. had it not been for him and I'm not advocating violence here but if not been for what he did his old lady would not have gone on to talk to jail Gail King and also had he not done what he did he not only would not have exposed what really goes on in these divestment relationships but he would have he would have never been able to expose how violent violent white men are can be and could be and you could never see the reaction on gail king's face when she was talking to that woman and she was recounting what happened like she couldn't believe that white man who made all those millions of dollars could do that to his black girlfriend number three with media pushing a divestment agenda b1 folks have read more books consumed less tv and have grown in consciousness now, I know somebody in the chat is going to tell me this was a stretch, but hear me out. When this whole uh, Joe Biden command me situation was popping off, I said this back in, ironically, a day before Halloween 2019. I said they're going to be the nominees for the Democrat Party because America needs to push a black woman, white man agenda because they saw us coming together, black men and black women. We were coming back together like we did in the 90s. And we were going to be a hell of a force, especially with us in 2019 and achieving the most wealth we've ever attained in this country. So when they got in, what did you see a lot of folks? You saw a lot of black women with white men on TV. Did you not? Yes, you did. Hell, today we just found out Tika Sumter and her co-star on her show, The Haves and Have Nots, they just got married in Mexico. I seen that. Yep. I was going to put her on the list, but I said, eh. Mixed Dish got over because Joe Biden got in, even though nobody's watching it. Hmm. Interesting. They love pushing this. See all these commercials, all these TV shows, all these movies. Black woman, white man. Elevate the mammy. So we said, since y'all going to do that and you're not going to promote a positive black message and a black family, we just not going to consume your content. So what did we do? We said, okay, we're going to go into the new black media spaces. We're going to go into B1 spaces. We're going to read more books. We're going to consume less TV. We'll just look at clips. And a lot of us have been better for it. Have we not? Give me one in the chat if you believe that. I wish everybody was here. I tell y'all to hold up y'all's books. I got more in the closets. But let's continue. Number four, we have checked a lot of black female paperwork to rate their authenticity and what they post online. Do y'all need the example of a Feeny X? I did that. Black Alpha, who did you check recently that was female? Uh, there's a couple of them, brother. We gotta be specific. You tell me, brother. We need names. You talking about and you know celebrities, real life on your on your channel? Who have you checked recently? Mm, what's that one? A Feeny? Is that it? Feeny X? Yes, yes, sir. G check all the time, and like I said, the other one, the 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 relevant one. What's the uh, one's name? Uh, Paris, um, the Coonet. Oh, Paris Milan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those those always, you know, those are always on my checklist. Got got to got to go check them. We check. We Marcel just G checked Monique. Candace Owens stay getting checked. Nino's been on Sharice Lane's neck. Um, shall we keep going? Um, Vivica Fox got checked. Did you see Corey Holcomb? What did what did he do? Oh man, this hey, just Google him and Vivica Fox. That, that's all I'm gonna say because I could never say it as good as he said it. That boy funny okay, as hell. I'm going to check that out after the show because I don't want to take his content. Shout out to that brother. Shout out to Corey Holcomb. <laughs> But Let's just say folks. she felt it, brother. She felt she can hey, she can act like she didn't feel it. Them words hurt. Wait, she was Them in the studio? Hurt. No, 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 no. He just oh, he just did okay. a little video and he was looking right at the camera about some of her statements. And them words hurt. I guarantee you, she cried all through her goddamn plastic surgery that night. Cool, cool. Yes, RG Ty. Yes, Zach Stacy was the one who threw the baby mom in the TV. Yeah. But uh 
Found out she was actually lying about it, but we're not going to go there. Oh, yes. And also, we checked black women's paperwork when they start saying those uh, stupid talking points like me and black alpha are killing and other black men are killing black women every five and a half hours. Because they love running around with that narrative now. Out of order. Number five. Their vanity and lack of reading the room has significantly dwindled their impact in our spaces. How many divestors has Tariq checked over the years? Professor Black Truth, Jason Black, us in the new black meeting, how many times? It's getting to be a, a exercise of futility at this point, folks. All we ask these divestors is one, leave us alone. That's it. Don't talk on, on, on this side of the fence. You're not with us. There was a time when you could jump the fence and come back and forth. That time is done. Now, now we got the guard dogs there. We got, we got the on code sisters waiting for you if you get past the dogs. And God forbid you get past the, the sisters. You ain't going to have enough energy for the rest of us. So yes, your vanity and lack of reading the room, you y'all don't even show up on on the B one side anymore. Y'all know better. But always remember, there's always one that's gonna get through. So, got to make sure to put the light on them and expose them. Number six, white supremacy's lower tiers have openly stated that divestors are a scourge to their community. Folk, if y'all don't believe me, go on YouTube, go on your Twitter, go on your Instagram, go on your Snapchat, go on your TikTok, and find the videos of them white boys calling out these divestors, boy. It's a thing of beauty. I mean, they're still white supremacists at the end of the day, but it's just funny for them to out those, out. well, they're not even sisters, out those, uh, we need a word for these for these divestors. Oh, I need a word. Guardrails. Guardrails. They, they coonets, brother. Coonets. That's fine. Coonets, guard. I call them guardrails because don't matter who's driving the car, they still hit the wall. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, yes. Let's uh, let's uh, I, I you know what? Let's acknowledge the fact that they're doing that and keep it moving. And last for me. Divestors have proven to us they are tools of white supremacy. I don't even got to explain that. But Black Alpha, you said you had an eighth one. Go ahead. Number eight is addition by subtraction. The mm. very fact that they expose themselves and we run them off the block. I mean, hey, we seen what Sister Sean did to Bronique. I mean, Monique. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, as I proceed, we seen what Sister Sean did to her. Queen Alpha do the same thing. Uh, a lot of our sisters, they regulate these off-code sisters, and the brothers do it. So these people are addition by subtraction. Anytime they expose themselves as what I call a gender bum, then they really just pack their own bags and left. See, normally we like to snatch motherfuckers up and throw them out the goddamn house. You know what I'm saying? We like to grab by the collar and throw them out the club. That go for, like, man, woman, gender, don't matter. Anybody who's off-code gets thrown out the house. Some motherfuckers <laughs> pack their own bags and walk they self out. And this is what a lot of them do. And I don't understand for the life of me why we don't just say, if you're a divester, you ain't black. It's simple as that. We could just end the whole charades right then and there. You ain't black. If you're a gender bum, you ain't black. We allow people to come into our community and hate the other gender and still proclaim, purport, and profess to be black. You cannot do none of those. You are not black once you start hating the black man or the black woman. It's just, it's not real. Anybody knows this, everyone accepts this. If your ass says that you have a problem with the brother, you call them bullet black bags or whatever the fuck they call them this weekend, because there's always a term I see, you know, fake statistics about brothers. They always boot licking the dominant society, uh, Ken and fucking Bob and Billy and shit will, you know, do all types of harm to them and they'll still be up on it. Don't forget about Wong Fei Hong. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes, indeed. That all of the above, all that off-coded divester shit. Once you expose yourself as one of them, you pack your own bags and you walk yourself out of black society, which means you are addition by subtraction. And I have a term, and you've heard me use this before, brother, and I haven't used this on a massive public level, but I'm going to say it right now. They are what I call the endangered swirler. Look at the statistics. Look at the cases. It speaks mm -hmm. for itself. 
they're the endangered swirl. You know how you have the endangered species list. You also have the endangered swirl list and the divesters are right at the very fucking top. Matter of fact, they're not just number one, they're number one, two, three, four, five, all the way. They the whole top 10. They're all endangered because anytime you see one of these relationships, can't you tell how it's going to end? When you see those little pictures where they all booed up with goddamn Billy and Bob, can't you see how it's going to end? As a matter of fact, let me say this to everybody in the chat. Whenever you see any type of divester and they're all hugged up and cuddly with Bob, do you usually see those pictures after when you read a story, an article about how it ended? I'm not going to say mm -hmm. how it ended. You guys know what I'm talking about. It normally ends with uh, not too booed up and somebody being, um, you know, X'd out, shall I say. Normally when we see these pictures, it's always in an article showing you that Bob did this to Shaquita, Bob did this to Shaniqua, Bob did this to Mrs. Divester, and she ain't here no more. We don't see these pictures and everything is good. We don't see these pictures where it's a functioning relationship. We don't see these things and they grow old together. We see those booed up Divester with Bob pictures after Bob has harmed her. Either she's going to have black eyes like the, the chick with that Wheeler dude. She was black eyes, swolled up and shit. Either you're going to see her with black eyes or you ain't going to see them no more. Therefore, that makes them all an endangered swirler. And they are all addition by subtraction. When they leave, we get better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, Samuel Logan said I should put Stacy Dash on the list. I'm not going to put Stacy Dash on that list because Stacy Dash Stacy Dash then messed herself up. Stacy Dash unfortunately her or well she's 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 not an FBA but her real nigga side came out when she was whooping on her white men and she didn't know how to control that. So I can't put her on that list. I, I think she put herself on the list, brother, to be honest with you. Bailey in the building. I, I, I shout she, out shout out to Sister Bailey. Shout out to Sister Bailey. I, I would uh, say Stacey Dash put herself on the list and Armorosa, all of them. Yeah, listen, man, there's degrees wait, to it. Armorosa with some with, with a white man? I did not uh, in her mind. <laughs> I'll say less. Hey, because remember, less. remember, their infatuation most of the time with white men are all in their brain because they don't truly have access to them. And the ones who have access to them, like my man Tim said, uh, they end up in city dumps. So uh, mm. it's either you're going to yes. do it in your mind or you're going to do it in the trash can. Either way, yes. you're an endangered swirler and it ends bad. Where are the swirlers on Lawrence Smith Fields? It's, it's been months. Why are y'all not in Bridgeport, Connecticut? Why are y'all not in blood sport? Ilhan Omar is not a divester. She is exactly what she is. She's not black, folks. She is Muslim. I'm going to help y'all out with this. She's never considered herself black. She is a Muslim. That's all I'm going to say. That's it. We ain't got to worry. She gets no love. We, we don't mention her by design. Her and her ilk up in Minnesota. There's a reason why they call it little Mogadishu. They're insignificant. Speaking of Mogadishu, folks. Speaking of which, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me show the folk. Let me, 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 let